The simulation user interface has three major components, simulation load tools, simulation field, and simulation panel. While adding a simulation occurs in the assembly, the process to set up a simulation starts in the part studio. In the part studio, begin with assigning materials to all instances. Simulation requires a material for all non-fixed components, including standard content. Next, create components that will act as fixtures in the assembly. Only one fixed component is required, but some simulation setups will utilize multiple. Maintain a realistic assembly and eliminate abstractions to optimize for fast, accurate simulations. Once the part studio has appropriate materials and fixtures, create the assembly. In the assembly, fix the fixtures and then define the degrees of freedom in the assembly with mates. Groups can be used to fuse parts together and are valid simulation connections. The tangent mate, pin slot mate, parallel mate, and relations are not supported for simulation. With an assembly that has unsupported mates, move those mates into the correct position, suppress the mate, and then utilize the connectivity method mates and touching faces to bond the faces for the simulation. With materials, mates, and at least one fixed component, the setup is complete for creating a simulation. Let's take a look at the simulation panel and the simulation load tools. The simulation panel is located on the right of the assembly tab. Select the simulation panel to expand it. Without any simulations created yet, the panel shows simulation settings and the add simulation button. The simulation settings are discussed in depth in a future video. Here, a simulation is added prior to creating loads if desired. Alternatively, adding the first load to the assembly automatically creates the first simulation. Utilize named positions to orient the assembly with preferred positioning for a desired load. Consider the unconstrained degree of freedom of the assembly and its mates. In order to fully constrain a position, an additional or more restrictive mate may be required, an additional part might need to be fixed, or the simulation method in the simulation panel settings might need to be changed to satisfy the physical realities of the assembly construction. For example, this assembly has a second fixed component to ensure a static assembly for running the simulation. In the assembly toolbar, there are five available loads, force, moment, bearing, pressure, and acceleration. These loads will be discussed in depth in future videos. Now that the first load has been added to the assembly, the first simulation is created. In the simulation panel, a simulation table now exists and the add simulation option is moved to the bottom of the panel. The simulation table has all simulations listed for this assembly. Modify the magnitude of loads and enable or disable multiple loads per simulation from this table. When multiple simulations exist, right-clicking on a simulation column header that is not active allows you to set that simulation to be active. Additionally, a simulation field now exists above the instance list. Here, a drop-down list of all existing simulations are available, providing another method for changing the active simulation. The status of the simulation is displayed, and the ability to show results is provided within the simulation field. Let's enable Show Results to run the simulation. Utilize the simulation settings in the simulation panel to change the color legend and connectivity method. Show connections to visualize the connectivity method applied. The status, results, and simulation settings are discussed in depth in future videos. Because on-shape simulation truly is on-shape, the simulation workflow is as flexible and robust as any other on-shape process. This includes the ability for a single user to have multiple tabs open, working in the part studio while the assembly keeps pace with changes as show results is enabled. Branching workspaces and creating configurations also provide unique benefits for evaluating designs with simulations. Branch workspaces to evaluate design changes, carrying your simulation setup into each branch. Take advantage of Onshape's selective merge feature to merge design aspects from one branch into another. Configure a design to test different product options to evaluate how different instance size or thickness alters the results of the simulation. Note that simulation loads are not configurable in the configuration panel. They can only be edited in the simulation panel or in the instance list. This video discussed the simulation workflow and user interface. 
Next, we will cover the process of setting up a simulation.